rush back home for the four chuck jocks who've been in their coop for for an entire day. You know, I forget that most chickens live that way all their lives. But, you know, my chickens are like pets. They provide us a great resource, and I like to provide them also the sort of habitat that you provide a pet that you love. Here they are, busy in the garden after being cooped up for a day. Mick Mick is really upset, and it looks like she's calmed down now. But they're rooting around, searching for grubs and other things, and eating plenty of vegetation, which is all here for them to eat. You'll notice one of the things I do is I put these stones down and what happens is these become a great place for uh, insects and stuff to live. Look, there's little, little larva there living in there. You want to get it? See those little larvae right there? See the little larvae, little maggots? See those little maggots right there? Too small for you. These are coffee grinds. And coffee grinds are a great resource. How about here? How about this rock here? Oh, right off. But these uh, these stones heat up, and there's poop and stuff under here. All right, this is actually manure. Using this little towel here. And that's what these uh, maggots and stuff are living in. So put down the. Oh, he's got here, mate. Earwig. So they're happy being out. Hey, what they, what these amazing pets that dogs and cats and other things don't provide. So came back here and let them out. Look at that bounty of eggs right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, um. There should be 10, so probably out of stress, a couple of them didn't lay, unless they put it in the, in the water here. I'm gonna change out this water. Unless it's somewhere down in here, I'm gonna change all this out. So this water here, I'm gonna pour actually on a tree. This is amazing, enriched, you know, uh, high nutrient water. That's perfect for trees. So I cleaned it out. And I've got a bag of the sand here. And um, put that down a little bit, just some sand to help absorb. Also remember, sand is a great grow medium. It's an aggregate. Um, it's lacking nutrition. So the nutrition is actually gonna come here. So throwing a little bit of sand in here is just going to you know, create a nice texture to the earth. The other thing I have here that maybe you can get hold of, maybe you can't, right here. This here is the, um, the, the husk of rice. And also, this is also a great absorb, absorbent. And I get this from my father's rice field. All right, so that costs anything. And this stuff is great, you know? And the chicken's gonna even eat this. And just spread this out. That other another layer. That's great. Looking really nice. All right. I'm happy with that. And I've cleaned out their pen. Doesn't take very hard. On all of this other good stuff, has gone to the garden. And what I'm doing is adding it to areas like the blackberry bush. I actually poured the water on this blackberry bush because it can take a lot of nutrients. Um, so I poured that down there and also I started to put some of that there. And the chickens are going to keep moving around and uh, churning, churning, churning it up. You notice here I've got the ends of the blackberry tree actually going into the ground. Also, 
this is an avocado tree. These stones will heat up and I'm actually going to cover this for the winter and hopefully it'll survive. Um, this is actually, it's winter time so these leaves are dying now. This could be damaged because of cold too, I'm not sure. Um, so it could be a combination of the two. But this is grown from a seed and you can see where I put down nutrients here and then what I can do is just cover it in there to keep the chickens and then what's going to happen is these little critters are going to grow into there and make it a great habitat and then when I open it up it becomes a great source of food for the chickens. I've also been, I put these things down here and when I lift them up there should be all sorts of little guys living in here that um, again the chickens Permaculture is all about using the environment, using what you have in a, an intelligent and sustainable way. And, you know, I'm a pet's guy and having chickens as a pet is a great thing. It really is. I recommend anyone to get some chickens. Now, I do have to find a backup person if I go on holiday. They can come and collect the eggs and get free eggs. I wonder how hard that's going to be.